I'm sure the Premier knew he'd be left holding the baby, but I didn't think he probably didn't think it would be twins. Um, pensions are critical to our economy, crucial to keeping seniors healthy and out of poverty, and critical to attracting and retaining the quality staff we need for our public services. To the Premier, will you stop pretending that you are trying to protect the pensions of public employees and stop the unnecessary attack on the pensions, which do so much for our economy, for seniors' health, and for our public services. Thank you. The uh, Honourable uh, Minister of International and Intergovernmental Relations. Well, Honourable Member, uh, I, I think uh, a review of what the Auditor General has said uh, with respect to this is significant. You know that he conducted a review that the report was released on February 13th. It's clear uh, that uh, there needs to be recognition of some simple facts. The facts around the ratio of those contributing to the plan to those collecting from the plan. The mortality rates that have changed. And of course, uh, there are a number of other factors uh, that simply the time is now to address these problems in a very modest and... Thank you. First uh, supplemental. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, the Minister's pretending that the Auditor General has endorsed these changes, and that's just not true. Alberta Health Services used George and Bell, the same actuary that projected the pensions would be fully funded within 10 years for a report on managing a legacy fund. So they, they think they're credible. Yet this government isn't listening to those experts. In fact, they won't even negotiate with the hundreds of thousands of their own employees who stand to lose hundreds of dollars a month from their retirement income. To the Premier, why won't you listen to the responsible experts who say that these plans will be fully funded even if you don't make any changes at all? The yeah. Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Member uh, references a study by George and Bell, and, and the issue on uh, pension sustainability or the problem with that particular study is the methodology, Mr. Speaker. The forecast projected uh, in the study, the numbers that were likely chosen uh, by the proponent of the study, uh, indicated that the assumption would be that the assets would earn at least 5.75 percent every year from now until 2023 and that there would be no other unexpected cost pressures. Mr. Speaker, uh, that, those numbers simply are not uh, appropriate for a study of this. Thank you. Final supplemental. Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, employees and the unions that represent them, the plan boards themselves, are willing to negotiate on changes to the pensions. It's just this government that refuses to negotiate, just like when they tried to freeze the wages of their own employees. Mr. Premier, will you please show good faith with the Albertans that work hard to provide our public services and go back to the negotiating table and talk to them about these changes? Why don't you negotiate instead of legislate? Mr. Speaker, the consultation process behind this uh, particular change has been fairly long. Uh, it was middle of 2012 when the provincial treasurer went out to talk to the pension boards and others about what, we, what was needed to, uh, to ensure that we had a sustainable pension plan so we could keep our, our pension promise to public servants. Throughout 2012 and into 2013, that discussion took place. In 2013, the provincial treasurer tabled some uh, proposed changes to the pension plan for discussion, and that was open for discussion until December 2013. He then took the feedback that he got from that and built it into the response. Thank you. Let's go on to a